wanna get down with you. Okay, this is gonna be a fun one. Really looking forward to this. As usual, I'm super lucky to have an awesome friend that just happened to buy this brand new 2017 Prilia RSV4 RF. Solely for track use. Track day is two weeks away and he was going out of town immediately after buying this bike. And so I asked him if I could borrow it while he was gone to make a little video. I think it's pretty win-win. He gets uh, he gets some good break-in miles on the bike before the track. And uh, I get to experience the new RSV4 RF. I'm really stoked to get to try this bike out. I have my 2013 RSV4, but they've made a host of changes to this newer bike. And I was really excited to try that out especially since I now have a 2017 Tuono factory. So it'll be awesome to compare apples to apples, 2017 to 2017. Okay, so 2017 RSV4, host of changes compared to the 2015 and older RSV4. Most notably, we now have 15 more horsepower. Big changes for 2017 over the 2016 model are the TFT color display, auto blip downshift, cruise control, the ride by wire setup is now a true just electronic sensor right at the grip rather than cable operated sensors like the previous RSV4s. Let's see what this thing feels like. definitely feels strong on the top compared to the older RSV4. So I'll be honest, the first thing that strikes me, and it's driving me a little bit nuts, is the gearing. Stock gearing on these things is insanely tall. It's 16 in the front, 42 teeth in the rear. And it's so tall that 75 miles an hour on the freeway, you don't even really want to use sixth gear. Makes a road like this have a lot of first gear corners, which is fine. The bike's behavior, you know, at low revs, and it's, you know, it has good throttle response. It's easily manageable in first gear. I'm even, I'm using the most direct throttle mode, and it's, uh, it's no problem. So the bike definitely feels familiar, being that I'm used to my 2013 RSV4, and it definitely feels like part of the family compared to that bike and the new Tuono. I will say, compared to the Tuono, and again, you know, with the caveat that I realize the gearing is hindering the bike right now, especially in the slow stuff, but the Tuono has so much more mid-range power than this. It's amazing the difference between those two motors, actually. Whereas this thing pulls super hard up top, the Tuono runs out of steam, and it's actually, it redlines at about 12.5, I believe. Whereas this thing goes all the way to 14. So these newer, higher horsepower RSV4s, the 2016 and newer, have a little bit longer swing arm than the older bikes. I believe it's actually the same longer swing arm that the Tuono has now. As a result of that, the bike feels a little more stable mid-corner, but maybe gives up a little on that initial light flick-in feeling. Certainly not worth complaining about, and I'm sure in high-speed sweepers, helps a lot. The auto blipper is a much welcome addition. I will say that traction control, even with the wheelie control off, 
is giving me a little bit of fits when the front wheel comes up, which is surprising because my 2017 Tuono doesn't seem to do that. Of course, I have the race map on my Tuono and this is bone, bone stock. So maybe they recalibrate the traction and wheelie control algorithms a little bit. That's interesting, it feels very similar and yet at the same time very different. Trying to look past stuff like the gearing and setup. It definitely pulls. Gotta really keep her on boil. Olin's forks and TTX shock are really good. Despite feeling very stiffly sprung, they do a great job of soaking up mid-corner bumps on this very bumpy road. So the conclusion, not a very surprising one. This thing is an absolute weapon. I have to admit though, having spent a lot of time on the Tuono now, that bike makes so much more sense for spirited street riding than this bike. And I'm not even talking about the ride comfort. Not even considering the ride comfort at all. Just the way the power develops on this bike compared to the Tuono. The Tuono has so much more usable power between the gearing and the power. Granted, you can gear this down pretty easily, I'm running one down, two up on my RS4 compared to this. It's because the track that we run on all the time is not that long and I still even only use fifth gear with the shorter gearing. But oh man, if you, ha if you can only have one bike, if you're only gonna go to the track or if you can only have one bike and you're gonna have to do street and track on one bike, then this is just an absolute weapon.